Korea and Turkey are bound by long-standing ties. They call each other brother countries and share many cultural heritages in common. In celebration of the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between Korea and Turkey, Ambassador of Turkey to Korea, Aslan Hakan Okcha to the studio. He talks about the visions of the Turkish Embassy to bring the two countries closer for another 60 years. Aslan Hakan Okcha, welcome to Heart to Heart. It's a pleasure to have this opportunity to meet you. Uh, could you please say hello to our viewers that are watching our program today? Hello, I'm Aslan Hakan Okcha, and I warmly greet everybody who are watching us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much once again for being with us. Now, this is a very meaningful time for both Turkey and Korea as uh, this year marks the 60th anniversary of the establishment of the diplomatic ties between the two countries. Um, how do you feel about this diplomatic milestone? Well, uh, the 60 time span is very important for both cultures, mm -hmm. Turkish and Korean. And uh, we have uh, gone a long way uh, from the inception of our diplomatic relations. Yes. It has been a good 60 year. So uh, I'm very proud that we have achieved this milestone mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to, to another 60 and even more yes. uh, good relations. Uh -huh. Now, Turkey and Korea have maintained a very special relationship for many, many, many years, a very long time. And our, our countries, Korea and Turkey, are even called, uh, you know, brother countries. Exactly. I understand that we share a lot of similarities. Um, are there maybe a couple similarities uh, that you can mention on our show today? Yes, of course. But before similarities, let, mm -hmm. let, let me a little bit allude on the brotherhood uh, okay, sure, yes. uh, attribute because this comes from the Korean War. And actually, we, uh, we have embraced ourselves as blood brothers, mm. uh, having fought uh, in the Korean War together. Yes. Uh, about the similarities, um, uh, first of all, uh, we belong to the uh, same Asian roots. You know, mm -hmm. we, we share the same Asian roots. And there are lots of similar, especially on the social side. Uh, uh, the family, the how we treat our houses, our neighbors, etc. They are very similar to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and of course, the food. Uh, uh, actually, we have uh, some foods uh, that have the same name, like our mant uh -huh. and your mandu. Oh. Oh, really? Uh, and the kimchi, actually we have the kimchi as well, but we don't call it kimchi, but turshu. Uh, this is the way uh, we preserved our vegetables during the cold winter times. Wow. Uh, I mean, fermenting them like mm, you do in That's very in interesting. Uh -huh. I actually had the chance to see some interviews that you did. Yes. And uh, you mentioned something about how families take off their shoes when they enter the house as well, because that, that's what we do in Korea. Yes. Yes. Actually, uh, in an uh, I mean, uh, average uh, house, uh -huh. uh, I'm not talking about, uh, about old, uh, families. old families in an average house, you, you take out your shoes mm -hmm. and then you enter and then uh, because shoes are deemed to be uh, dirty yes. and you're not allowed. Uh, and then uh, uh, not, not only houses, but all, all also our religious uh, places mm -hmm. like you do in the temples. Yes. Uh, before entering the mosque, uh, you take your shoes off. Uh, uh -huh. This is a culture in Turkey. I see. Yeah. Um, I'd also like to ask you about the public baths, because yes, public baths are very popular in Korea. Um, you'll find one almost everywhere. There are tons of them across the country. Yeah. But I've noticed that a lot of foreign visitors that yes. come to Korea, yes. they don't feel comfortable walking yeah. into a public bath because they have to take all of their clothes off. <laughs> have you been to many public baths in Korea? Well, not a public bath per se, uh -huh. uh, but I go usually, usually two or three, three times a week oh. uh, to the gym, uh, which has a bath. Yes. So it's sort of a public bath. Sure. Uh, uh, but yes. I heard that there's something very similar in Turkey as well. Uh, actually, a uh, public bath uh, is a traditional thing in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, in the old times, I'm, I'm talking about centuries uh, behind, uh, houses, they didn't have the bathrooms, no. Uh, so families uh, 
would go to public baths, and they are still there. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful edifices, actually, in architectural wise. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you take off your uh, clothes, of course. Uh -huh. But we don't do it. Uh, uh, we we uh, cover ourselves with a small towel. Uh, of course, gender separation is there, mm -hmm. so there's no mixture of genders inside the bathrooms. But right. this is a place not only for cleaning, but also for social uh, activities. I mean, mm -hmm. we talk to each other, we take a massage, we rub uh, away the dead skin. Right. So we come out uh, uh, clean and also, uh, I, I think, uh, with a more uh, fresh uh, uh, mind, uh, mm -hmm. mindset. that you've been very, very busy um, carrying out various activities since you yes. came to Korea. Uh, could you tell us about a project uh, that you're involved in at the moment or the project you've most recently been involved in? Yes, sure. Uh, the project I'm most involved in right now is the sixth year, year celebration. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of cultural activities in my baggage. I uh -huh. hope I will uh, successfully finalize them, but uh, a constant is, of course, uh, strengthening the relation between two countries mm -hmm. and representing your own country in the best way if, to your abilities. Uh, mm -hmm. That involves uh, also um, trade, increasing the trade yes. and bringing more investments towards your country. Mm. One of them uh, is the latest uh, uh, bridge project of mm -hmm. Turkey which is going to be the world's longest bridge oh. ever built. Uh, and uh, two Turkish and two Korean companies mm -hmm. have been awarded uh, this project as contractors. And that will be uh, bridging two continents, um, spanning between Asia and, uh, and uh, Europe uh, on the uh, uh, Dardanelles Strait, mm -hmm. uh, that we call the Çanakkale. Mm -hmm. Straight in Turkish. Yeah, so it'll be the uh, world's longest bridge. It will be the longest. Well, it will be uh, more than uh, two kilometers exactly, two thousand and twenty-three uh, meters. Wow, that's uh, which is the anniversary, hundredth anniversary of the Turkish Republic. So, oh, I see. So it it has a, a meaning. Yes. The, the length has a meaning uh -huh. as well. Oh, very yeah. special meaning to it. Now, uh, Turkey and South Korea have long been allies, but actually it hasn't been that long since the two countries have um, had a close economic relationship, especially between trade, mm -hmm. uh, trade and economic partnerships. Yes. Now, economic exchanges between Turkey and Korea have expanded to investments and, yes. and trade and other areas yes. since 2013. Yes. So could you tell us about this? What does Turkey expect from Korea? Korea. Yeah, in 2030, uh, the Turkish Korea FTA came into power. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the broadest agreements that we ever have with another nation. Uh, it covers, as you said, trade, of course, services, and investments. So, mm -hmm. uh, all these areas uh, have been covered. Um, we are working on more exports uh, from Turkey mm -hmm. and more investments from Korea to Turkey. Uh, mm -hmm. So last year we received, although it was a difficult year for Turkey, mm -hmm. uh, we received a lot of investments uh, from Korea. I'm very happy about that. I As see. an ambassador, uh, I feel uh, satisfaction because uh, mm -hmm. this is one of the duties that an ambassador mm -hmm. uh, must fulfill. Uh, so uh, there, there will be more, I, I hope. Uh, and we are working 
on more technological, cutting edge mm -hmm. technologies towards Turkey. Turkey has a has a good uh, uh, base uh, for such investments. Uh -huh. We have a very educated young population, good infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, and also we are very close to international markets, uh, like, like uh, the European markets. It's only two, two hours uh, flight distance yes. from Turkey, uh -huh. and we have a, a customs agreement mm -hmm. between the European Union. Whatever uh, you produce uh, in, in Turkey, uh, can be exported uh, without any use mm -hmm. uh, to the European markets. Actually, the, some uh, car companies from Korea, I and I'm, I'm going to uh -huh. name it the Hyundai company. Uh -huh. so we have a large plant in Turkey. Oh. So, uh, the, uh, I mean, they uh, produce for the Turkish internal market, but they also export towards Europe. Mm -hmm. So some of the brands that you want to see uh -huh. here are produced in Turkey for the European markets. I see. Well, not only in terms of business, but it's yeah. it's a fact that uh, recently there are more and more people traveling to Turkey, especially if there's a huge increase in the number of Koreans traveling to yes. Turkey. It's um, one of the must-go-to places. Yeah. How do you feel about this increase in the number of Korean visitors to Turkey? Well, um, Korean tourists are increasing, as you said. Uh, uh, thanks to the interest uh, of the Koreans and also th thanks to the flying travel possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, I think it will increase more. Turkey is one of the uh, uh, strongest uh, tourism destinations in the world. Mm -hmm. It's actually number six in the yes, world. Yes, yeah. Uh, and uh, Korea, Koreans have become the number one tourist from Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, taking over uh, the, the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they, they are interested in the cultural sites uh, and also the food of Turkey, yeah. the vast uh, I mean, geographical uh, wealth of Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'm expecting more Koreans to visit Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay, well, since you mentioned yes. uh, interesting sites, uh, could you recommend, um, you know, really... Uh, wonderful places to visit and also tell us about the local culture or sure. the local foods that people must yes. try when they go to Turkey? Sure. Well, the gateway is Istanbul, of course. Mm -hmm. Istanbul is a gem. Uh, it has a history about 8,000 years. It, it is an open museum mm -hmm. uh, and it's a metropole uh, like so. So uh, there's a lot of things that Istanbul will offer uh, to, uh, to tourists. Uh, and then uh, the Koreans uh, visit sites like Cappadocia, Ephesus, Ankara and uh, also uh, our southern coast uh, uh, were a lot of ruins uh, uh -huh. dating back to the Roman Empire and the Hellenistic time mm -hmm. are there. Uh, so Cappadocia is one destination, it's a beautiful place because it, it, it is a rock formation, uh, a geographical formation that has no other example on the world. Uh -huh. uh, Koreans like to go on the balloon flights and uh, see the area. But I, I would recommend to explore more in Turkey because mm -hmm. there are some untapped places like our Black Sea coast. Ah. Uh, it is beautiful, it is interesting. Uh, uh, it, there, there are some uh, ancient port cities mm -hmm. like Trabzon, uh, which are there for the last 5,000 years with all their, their ancient uh, history. But the food they offer, the sea-based food, ah. uh, the Turkish cuisine is actually one of the richest in the world. I see. Uh, deemed to be one of the three basic cuisines mm -hmm. in the world, of course. Don't hesitate to <laughs> eat anywhere in Turkey. Okay, <laughs> so, now you're really making me uh, want to go to Turkey uh, even I'm right sorry. now, this moment. <laughs> the first Turkish food I'm going to talk about is baklava. Paper-thin sheets are buttered and filled with chopped nuts and sugar and baked. When the pastry is completed, syrup is poured over it and allowed to soak into it. Baklava is a musty treat in Turkey. Lokum, a Turkish confection known for its sweetness and gummy texture. A British man who fell in love with lokum during his visit to Istanbul in the 19th century brought it over to England, which then spread to the rest of Europe. It is the most widely enjoyed confection in Turkey. There wasn't that many varieties at first, but now there are hundreds of different flavors.
also read that Turkey is home to spectacular mountain ranges. Yes. Um, I never imagined that you could actually enjoy skiing in Turkey, but uh, I read that wintertime visitors can actually hit the slopes at nearly a dozen slopes. So it's a good place to visit during the winter time as well. Actually, uh, don't think that Turkey is a, uh, is a hot place. It's, uh -huh. We have four seasons. Mm. We have very cold winters. We have high mountains, uh -huh. mountain ranges, as you said. And on these uh, mountain uh, re regions, we have a lot of uh, ski facilities, yeah. beautiful ski facilities around Ankara, around Istanbul, uh, in the center of the country, mm -hmm. in the eastern parts of the country. So uh, you, you will find a lot of ski and winter facilities with, uh, with very good facilities uh, for accommodation, hotels. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, it's not only the sea that we offer, it's, mm -hmm. it's the variety of Turkey. Yes. The, the cultural variety, the natural variety, the climate variety, mm -hmm. and the variety of food as well. So uh, there's a lot of things that we can offer. Okay, well, Turkey's got everything. It's beautiful. Turkey. And yes, Turkey is also yeah. packed with cultural heritage. You've mentioned yes, yes. some beautiful mm. places worth yes. visiting. Uh, there are many spots over 10, 13. Uh, yes. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but 13 yes. spots in Turkey inscribed on UNESCO's list of uh, World yes. Heritage Sites and more on the tentative list. Exactly. Yes. 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 Um, well, uh, as you said, uh, the list can be extended. Uh -huh. But I, I will mention uh, two things. Uh, you know, of course, about the seven ancient wonders of the world. Mm -hmm. Two of them are in Turkey. The mausoleum uh, in Bodrum and uh, the Apollo temple uh -huh. in Ephesus. Uh, these are the wonders that still are there. You can visit. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, ancient uh, uh, heritage uh, mm -hmm. dating back almost 20,000 years. The first settlement of the, in the world that mm -hmm. has ever been one is around Urfa, which is called Göbekli Tepe. Uh -huh. We have uh, ancient uh, ruins like Ephesus mentioned in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Selçuk uh, heritage coming from the first Turkish uh, states before the Ottomans. We have the beautiful Ottoman heritage now. Uh -huh. We have the Republican uh, edifices like the bridges that we are building mm -hmm. together with yes. the Koreans, actually. It's wonderful. So, uh, so there are lots of things uh, to be seen. And I must mention this on our program. Uh, coffee, actually, was introduced. <laughs> uh, Turkey introduced coffee to Europe because okay. I did not know this, but it, it's, a, it's a fact. It's a fact. Yes. Uh, actually, we didn't discover coffee, of course. Coffee was there all uh -huh. along. It's, it's, it was grown in a place called Kave mm. in Ethiopia. So, but that's why the Turks call ca coffee kave. Ah. Kave. Uh, it was uh, used by uh, Arab Sufi uh, mm -hmm. uh, early Muslims uh, as, uh, as a drink when, when they were reciting the Holy Quran. Oh. And the Turkish Empire, when it extended towards Yemen, mm -hmm. where the coffee was made, we brought it to Istanbul and made, made the social drink. Uh, not anymore in any religious confines, but uh -huh. it, it became a social drink. Coffee houses were established in Istanbul in the, in the capital of the Ottoman Empire. And then we introduced coffee to, to the Europeans. Mm -hmm. That's how uh, coffee shops uh, I mean, sprang up uh, <laughs> and coffee drinking became uh, fashionable in yes. Europe. Yes, it's fashionable and very popular in Korea as well. You'll find exactly. a coffee shop everywhere. You have a lot of coffee yes, shops. Yes, a lot of them. <laughs> Now, uh, since we're talking about traveling to Turkey and the beautiful places yeah. you'll find in Turkey, what do you miss most about home? Well, uh, I, I miss uh, the sea. The sea. <laughs> Although uh, Korea is a peninsula, uh -huh. uh, uh, our seas is more conducive to bath. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, the sea is blue, the sky is blue. Mm -hmm. We have long beaches and uh, we have uh, long summers on the sea coast, we have facilities. Uh -huh. And I personally have a summer house in Bodrum. Oh. So, so it's not uh, used uh, for, for a long time uh, mm -hmm. because we are here. But whenever the summer is there, uh, mm -hmm. I have this I mean, uncontrollable uh, urge to uh -huh. go to the sea, swim and enjoy, enjoy summer. Wow. Now, you'll be returning home uh, quite soon? Uh, well, uh, for holiday, yes. Mm -hmm. And possibly uh, professional-wise, yes, mm -hmm. because it 
could be this this could be my last posting because of my uh, end of my term first uh -huh. of all and secondly I'm very close to my retirement so, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to a new uncharted yes. life uh -huh. hopefully very very happy one yes all right um, I would personally like to ask if it's okay with you to is, maybe um, convey a message to yeah. the viewers that may be watching from Turkey right now so yes. is there something you would like to say to them well, uh, this is a very friendly country. Uh -huh. uh, Koreans like Turks and Turks like Koreans. And there are lots of exchanges, but uh, still uh, the social exchange uh, component is a little bit weak. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I uh, encourage every young Turkish person to visit Korea, learn from Korea, and vice versa, uh -huh. um, I mean, introduce Turkey to the Koreans. Mm -hmm. So do you have any future plans to promote uh, the ties or relationship between uh, Korea and Yes, um, well, uh, I'm going to promote Korea because mm -hmm. um, uh, unavoidably you, you become also an ambassador of the country you serve. Mm -hmm. If it's a very uh, pleasant country like Korea. So I, I, I will bring a lot of things with me, uh, mm -hmm. spiritual and, uh, and also cultural things with me. And I'll promote Korea as well. Uh, what about trade-wise? Trade-wise, yes. uh, I, I will work on that. Uh -huh. uh, there will be, uh, I think, I'm sure there will be a lot of uh, uh, increased trade. Um, um, one of the most powerful media companies mm -hmm. of Korea, mm -hmm. they invested a huge amount of uh, money. Actually, they bought uh, their counterparts, uh -huh. uh, Turkish counterparts uh -huh. in Turkey. So it will create a lot of uh, business. Uh, I, I mean, retailing, media, uh -huh. uh, film shooting, mm -hmm. television, uh, broadcasting. These are in, in the offing. Okay. Yeah, they will come soon. Yes. Oh, actually, talking about films, I also read yes. that uh, Turkish films yes. are booming as well. So. Yes, uh, yes. I mean, we have a very strong industry. Uh -huh. Turkish films and also Turkish TV <sighs> serials. See. They are very popular in many countries. Mm -hmm. Like the Korean Hallyu, we have our own Hallyu. Yes. Hallyu. Uh, and we export a lot of films from Turkey. Mm -hmm. And Koreans do watch some Korean, or vice versa, the Turks watch also Korean films. Okay. So. And finally, last but not least, here is our last question. Um, could you tell us about your aspirations as the Turkish ambassador to Korea? Well, my, uh, my aspiration is, uh, I mean, uh, we, we need to work on many uh, misdeeds over the world, and mm -hmm. we are doing that. I mean, we are becoming rich and powerful, Korea and Turkey, but uh, especially the region Turkey is surrounded is marred by, by conflicts. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your own problems, nuclear threat, etc. So we need to work for a better world, yes. for a more peaceful world. And, and actually we are doing that within the MICTA group. I wonder if you heard about it. Mm -hmm. we, we, share, we have uh, established a group of five countries, uh -huh. like countries, that. MICTA, M is Mexico, I is Indonesia, K is Korea, T is Turkey, and A is Australia. Uh -huh. So we are working uh, as a power of goods, for I mean, supportive goods uh, powers mm -hmm. uh, to address uh, the problems over the world. Okay, well, wonderful. Thank you so much it for is. your time. Uh, we hope that Korea and Turkey continues to work together for mutual growth and also continues to keep building a stronger and healthier relationship, or rather, friendship. Thank you once again for your time. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. It was my pleasure, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you.